Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to uh, People Mover Inc. Right, well, okay. Uh, it's, um, well, I suppose I should just give you a brief catch up on what I've done while you were away. I've uh, cleaned up some of these intercity roads, uh, like this one, this one, this one, taking a bunch of the kinkiness out of them. Uh, that was just, you know, because of my uh, CDO, which uh, just in case anyone was not aware, CDO is uh, a tongue-in-cheek um, rearrangement of OCD in alphabetical order, all that jazz, and it is not OCD, okay? Uh, so lest anyone think that uh, I'm claiming to have OCD, I don't. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, aside from that, I've uh, added some double tracking over here, uh, all the way to this uh, junction, and extended it a bit here, added a passing track here, and I've added a train on the uh, what's become the sort of main line through Columbia and Durham and, and company here, uh, because I had a massive backup of passengers waiting here, uh, especially once I added the local uh, trams here. In DC so that's basically where things stand right now I've I, I've paid off all the debt and there's uh, eight and a half million uh, in the bank roughly uh, until some expenses hit right uh, so things are proper profitable right now uh, connecting DC was in fact the right choice because that really uh, ramped up the uh, the profitability uh, by adding more uh, more passengers to the system uh, and as you can see from the chart here, uh, the past several uh, accounting periods have had half a million uh, or more in uh, net, uh, net income. And that means that there's plenty of cash now to do an expansion of the network. And that means uh, expanding from New Haven here, which is going to be a bit of a hub. Uh, because I need to get from New Haven, uh, I think, I don't remember what I said, but I think I was going to go through Everett and uh, and then up to Charlotte. I think that's what I was going to do. Uh, or was it, no, I think I was going to go through Everett and then down to Tulsa. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. So let's just check here. Uh, Tulsa is a smallish one. And Everett is an even smallisher one. Uh, right. So we have that going. Uh, the other thing I need to do is get a, uh, uh, a connection down through, uh, say, uh, Huntsville or Chicago. And I think it would be Huntsville, uh, which is uh, 99 base. Uh, and then from Chicago... I could uh, run it down through uh, potentially, uh, yeah, yeah, well, maybe Chicago would be better. Or do I bring that, that one down through, uh, through Columbia or from Columbia or Durham? No, 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 I do a line across through from Charlotte around. Yeah, that, that's a proper main line there. Yeah. Uh, so this whole path here is a proper main line. So uh, I do need to connect into it before I, I can build it based on my restriction of having just the one depot. So the first thing I'm going to do uh, is uh, observe I need the stations coming for a main line coming this way. And here it needs to sort of make a U-turn to head out to Chicago, right? And I think the best way to do that is to put the station up here. And uh, to make that work, I just need to complete this road. And then I can put the station here, right? And that's what I'm going to do. So uh, we'll grab a passenger station. Again, I'm doing 80 meters. Here I'm going to want at least two tracks because of the mainline effect. So... I'll put this here. Well, look at that. We got, we got uh, roads building. Yeah, I'll put this here. Bam. Okay. Um, yeah. 
So the, the line coming down from New Haven will, uh, I think it'll be the extension of the DC line. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. Uh, maybe. Eh, I don't know. Uh, I need to get a track up there first. But here, stop waving the uh, the pattern or the the screen around. Uh, okay, so here I need to first get the tracks uh, across the the road here, on both sides, uh, for the uh, main line. And we're going to make them go level. And I will run two tracks across here because the cache is available. Uh, and so I don't have to retrofit this later after town growth, right? So this will come out like this. And this will also come out like this. Uh-huh. Yep. Like that. And we come across like that. And here we go. Okay. So that's going to sit there and uh, serve as the, uh, the track uh, through the town. And notice it's at an angle to the road. Um, yeah, uh, you know, I'm okay with that. Uh, it, that kind of jankiness just seems appropriate. Now, uh, coming out of here, I'm going to need, uh, I'm going to need a track that goes up this way and comes into here. So let's take, let's take a dual track out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. And... I need a... Um... Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a cross over here. I may need to move that later. Can I? No, I can't. Okay. Uh, can I? No. So I'll put the diverger here. Uh, like this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can just, I can single track this bit of it. Yeah. Okay. So I just need to uh, double slip that. Whoops. Okay, now this. Uh... Okay, so we're going to need to go across the uh, the road here, aren't we? Yeah. Um, no, uh, right, no, take this, no, B, yeah, for bulldozer, yeah, bring this out level, and like this, yeah, why, because I can build this, right, and then, uh, if we come out of here um, on this side, uh, we can come out levelish here too. Yep. Now, how far out of level are these compared to each other? Not there. Not very. Okay. So we'll bring that here and connect that around there. Yeah, okay, that gives a uh, connection point there. Yep, okay, I need a signal or two down here. So what we're going to need is one of these, one of these, I think. That's too close together, but uh, I think it's uh, tolerable. Um, I'm going to need a uh, connection point like this. And a signal here. And if this is a through run, uh, 
Uh, yeah, I think I should just do a through run from DC. So that means I need to rejig this a bit, right? So I'll just explain what I'm doing here. Uh, what I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this out like this so that there's a waiting track here, right? Yeah. Okay. And then I can do this, right? And that means, um, I can, uh, slip this, uh, which means we can get from here to here and here to here, and here to here, no, and here to here, right? Uh, now, uh, to complete the possible movements, I need one of these, right? And I would need, if I wanted to get from here, here to here i would need one there but i'll just put one there and that means then i can deploy the trains properly right uh and now uh we go and we put a signal here and that'll be a signal here and one here right uh, and that will this will avoid deadlocking here uh and i think i don't need a since this will be a through run I can just uh, do that, right? Yeah. Okay. Don't actually need that signal. But uh, this means that I can uh, deploy my uh, train on this line. And I can manage it, right? And we go from DC. We can go to New Haven. And then Huntsville, right? Uh, and that's going to change the name to HNTSV. Yeah. Huntsville. Okay. Now, I think I'm going to need a third train on that line, but we're going to let it run for a minute first. Um, and then I'll need to put in the local stuff there. But what I want to do is, first of all, uh, I want to see, yeah, I did the right thing there. Uh, okay, so uh, I want to grab this train and we'll just uh, give it a ride. You know, that, that's one of the things I, I, I want to do here, you know, is just ride the trains around. Okay, and here we go. We are here. We uh, drop off. We pick up some and we're going we're going back to uh, okay um, right well we'll see what it does I was pretty sure I updated the line but okay Okay. Oh, we're waiting for the other guy. Fair enough. Now you can see we've got uh, traffic going by road between the towns here. Uh, you know, off to the left there. That's uh, quite a uh, view in the distance there, isn't it? Okay, and now we come in here, we pick up, and now we go for New Haven. Now we better head for Huntsville after this one. I really need to fix the lump there. Yeah. 
Uh, I probably won't, but I, sh I really do need to. Uh, the lump is just awful there. I mean, the rest of this, this run is okay, but that lump, just wow. Okay, and we come in here at the adjusted station. We stop here. We drop off. We pick up three. And now... We head for Huntsville. Excellent! Yeah, I'm going to need another train on here. That is definitely uh, a thing. So, yeah. Heading off to Huntsville here. So I'll eventually replace that with a uh, underpass for the road, probably. And here we are. Good. We drop off four. Okay, we pick up several. And we flip around and we head back. Yes. Good. Okay. Okay. Now, let's just head up here and see. Yeah, we're backed up on the DC direction. So, uh, I guess uh, we'll go in here. We'll manage vehicles. And I'll add a train. And I'll just uh, take you out of the uh, depot here. And you can see why I uh, extended the double track uh, here. Uh, and it's just to assist in uh, the traffic here, right? Uh, from the depots. So with this double track, we don't we have less uh, bits here where we have to wait and uh, wait for opposing traffic, right? And that is the uh, the big the big reason right there. And then this double doubling this means we've got a, a waiting point outside the station, so it's not blocking the uh, spur line up the uh, up to the cliff there, right? Right. Okay. Uh, and that's autosave. Right. Okay. Good. Uh, so that's what I wanted to show you there. Now, the thing here in Huntsville is this needs to uh, connect on to other places, right? And that's going to... Right. And that was going to go via Chicago, Chandler, Glendale, Waco, right? And also Everett, was it? Or just Tulsa? Just Tulsa. Right. Or was I going to go with Everett? Now I've forgotten what I was going to do. Uh, no, I think, uh, I think Everett and Charlotte are their own spur out of Huntsville. Or New Haven. Out of New Haven, I think, maybe. Or both? I don't know. Anyway, uh, I think Tulsa definitely is the uh, next uh, place that needs a, a uh, station, right? So, and notice that we're up, we're, we're actually making some real uh, cash now. So I can just go ahead and do this and go ahead and chuck in. A station here, right? I could stick it in right about. Uh, let's zoom in so I can see what I'm doing. There. Yeah. Okay, this could actually be a spur around or a divergence around to New Haven as well. Okay, so uh, I'm going to need uh, some tracks that come out to about here, right? And then I'm going to need also a diverging line, right? That heads that way. Yeah. Okay. So, about that angle, I think. 
And I'm going to do a double track divergence here. Uh, but I am not going to double track this really. Uh, so I'm going to put a I'm going to put a crossover here, right? Uh, this is going to go only this far. Yes. Okay. The gain part of the thing here is single tracking, right? Where uh, practical, right? Uh, or you know, you, you don't add the uh, extra track when you don't need it. Uh, okay, so that adds a connection there. And I'm going to need... You know what? I'm going to need one of these here. Yeah, uh, no. What? I really wish they'd fix this bug. Uh, it wasn't a bug until uh, one of their uh, recent updates. Uh, uh, they changed something and it started making this stuff way, way worse. Uh, okay, and then we do this, right? Okay, this will need a signal here and one here. And then over at the other end, it needs a signal here and one here. And it will need a signal here eventually, so I'll just put that there. Uh, so uh, this is just the same signaling logic I've been using all along. Uh, which brings uh, a uh, uh, you know an anti deadlock situation here. Now I'm only going to be running one train here initially, so I don't need a passing track in the middle. Uh, so that's a, that's an important uh, factor there. Uh, but I am going to deploy that train, uh, which means I have to come over here and I need to buy. And again, we don't have any options here. Uh, we'll use three on here. Okay. And this is a new line. I'm just going to pause while I do this. And this is going to be Huntsville to Tulsa. And this is going to be TSV Tulsa. Yep. Okay. And then we go on here and grab this. Let's just... Let's let's uh, ride this as it launches. So this is basically what I'm doing here to expand out the network, right? And uh, as that happens, the uh, the cash coming in will continue to expand, right? And eventually, I'll have enough cash where I can just start reorganizing cities and all of that stuff, and it won't be an issue, right? Uh, so that's. Uh, that's just the way things are. But it looks like I'm going to have to come back and start balancing some of these uh, lines a little better. And I may need to start coming back and double tracking for volume. Uh, and that, uh, that may be uh, a thing that I do in the next part, actually. It's just uh, we come through, analyze the various lines that are, are the older lines and see what, what can be done. And maybe look at possibly renovating some of the streets around the rails and so on to uh, reduce uh, traffic jams, right? Uh, uh, that, that's something that could be considered, uh, right? Uh, we're obviously waiting for a train coming the other way. And we'll look at the traffic on the roads, though, eh? And that... Uh, that tells me that uh, we're leaving uh, potential uh, passengers on the table as well. Uh, so uh, I do need to look at local coverage in some of the towns and so on. And I think maybe I'll need to uh, consider uh, how the, uh, the lines are laid out in the towns and see what happens. Uh, this is waiting a while. Is there a train coming the other way? There it is. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think I'll probably need to double track this because there's quite a few trains on this line. Uh, you know, I can actually double track it. Uh, it's uh, you know, kind of as a as the um, 
uh, old old main line or something like the original main line. Uh, okay, so here we are coming through a place. Oh look, and now we get to wait again. Uh, there's the train coming the other way. Uh, yeah, so uh, I think uh, this particular uh, bit might end up getting double-tracked just for uh, less delays in deploying trains, if nothing else. But even so, the waiting isn't that bad you know, when you really get down to it. So we're heading for Huntsville, so that's going to take, you know, a, a moment. But I do, um, I do like a little bit how this has set up here, right? The, uh, the landscape. Okay, and we're waiting for a train on the other side to leave. I see. Yeah, again, I, I said it before, but I do wish the, uh, implicit signals in stations would also apply to through trains or if there was a toggle so you could make that implicit signal apply to through trains i i, I do wish that was a thing uh or there was a way to specify a station platform as a non-stop uh, so that it would be treated as a platform for a line but not uh, not stop there unless it had to for signal reasons. Uh, you know, something. I, I, I hope they do that for Transport Fever 3 uh, where they, they make the uh, the signals in the, the, the implied signals in the station platforms uh, or station tracks uh, a little bit more uh, useful for uh, through operations. Okay, so we're just about here at Huntsville. Okay. So we're at Huntsville. We stop here. We load five. Okay. And off we go to Tulsa. Yep. Yeah, here we go. This is this is actually the tr the this train across the desert thing is uh, is working out nicely here. Uh, yeah, and keeping the tracks basically level is uh, meaning the trains don't have to struggle, right? Uh, and that uh, that is definitely helpful as well. I should probably go along the tracks here and clear out the bushes immediately beside them. Yeah, I probably should. Probably won't. Oh, wow. We've got quite a few people here. Yeah, full train load. Uh, now, it was a while getting there, so that's probably why. But, yeah. Okay. And off we go. Okay. So, that, um, that track looks uh, quite reasonable. So, uh, I'm going to put the, uh, the cut here. Uh... The uh, next uh, operation, I think, is to get Everett, is to connect uh, a, a line between Everett and maybe DC. Yeah, that, that I think makes more sense, to connect in through DC. Uh, you know, if I'm going to do uh, connect it through DC and maybe Huntsville up to Charlotte. You know, have a X-type setup there. I'm not sure how I'm going to pull that off, though. Yeah, because we don't have stacking platforms, right? So that's... Um, hmm. I'll have to think about that one. Uh, anyway, uh, it's still $8 million in the bank, so obviously I could do some uh, fairly substantial building now and not have to worry about running out of cash. So uh, what I did uh, with the... Uh, New Haven main line. Uh, well, New Haven... Uh, no, I, oh, I was going to run New, the New Haven line up to Everett, wasn't I? Yeah. 
Yeah, run New Haven up to Everett. How big's Everett? Small. Run it up to Everett and Charlotte, maybe? Yeah, that might make sense. Okay. And then I can also run a line up to DC from down from Tulsa. Yeah. Because DC's big, so it makes sense to have a bunch of stuff converging there. Yeah, okay. Uh, I think think that is a plan, which I will promptly forget and not do next time. So yeah, uh, I will hopefully remember to uh, put in some local uh, transport in Huntsville and Tulsa. And maybe, uh, maybe, yeah, uh, maybe I'll do something else while we're away anyway. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, maybe I'll redo some other, uh, intercity roads and whatever, uh, just for, uh, you know, just because, right? Uh, maybe not, uh, hard to say. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm putting the cut here, so, uh, if you want to support the channel, I do have a Patreon, uh, you'll find the link in the description. If you want to support the channel, well, you can use it. If not, well, you know, it's still there. And you can also do the usual YouTube business of liking, commenting, subscribing, you know, all that jazz. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything, but you can do it or not. Uh, you do you, right? And I guess all that said, see you back next time.